My friends, welcome to video number one in what should be an exciting series about the Rossum Electro Music Assimilator. I want to say right away that this video series is not sponsored. Um, I'm just doing this just because I love you guys so much and um, I'm just really excited about a good sampler. I've you know spent a lot of my life using hardware samplers and then uh, samplers in software. So to have something like this uh, in your rack format, again, is just super exciting. So the great thing about this thing is that it's so simple. I know it looks overwhelming. So remember when you were a child and you saw your first big mixing desk and you're looking at all the faders and all the parts of the mixer and you don't know what it all does. So let's just break it down just like this. Just look at one channel. You've got a gate. You've got three CV options assignable for each channel. And that's it. Yes, there are eight channels. It's true. But the beauty of this matrix is that you can assign anything to anywhere and then call on it again in another channel. So for example, say that you were using this gate or trigger to trigger a sample and you had CVA assigned for pitch data for one volt per octave and you liked what was going on there and you wanted to mirror that down here for channel six you had something else going that you had a similar melody on you could just call on this assignment through this matrix so suddenly it's really simple and understandable you can have anything going anywhere and then call on it again in another place or not send another type of modulation there and assign that really simply there's no menu diving. Every single menu item is available on these buttons. And every button has a clear and singular duty. So if you're working with a sample and you want to change its pitch, you click on pitch. You go back to channels and you can assign channels. See the little white box there? So you just navigate this thing around and what you're selecting on is what you're editing. And when you want to edit it, you just click in this data data encoder and you make your choices. So for example, pitch. You can go all around there and make your assignments and make your settings. And they all work in the same way. If you want to tweak envelope. So this is how you navigate around on the assimilator. Okay, I'm going to keep all these videos short and sweet and uh, the next video, we're going to talk about how to load a sample.